Hey team, it's Jen coming to you here at the top of week four. I am making this video uh, to reflect on week three and to also look forward to the coming week with a lot of success. Um, in week four, we continue our reading of Doris Lessing's novel, The Grass is Singing. So although we do not have a separate discussion board for week four, I do expect that we will keep the conversation going from week three as we continue with the second half of Lessing's novel. Of course, as you continue to read the text, you're going to uh, be coming up with more, compl uh, more complex and sophisticated ideas about the text. You're going to be reconsidering posts that you made in week three. You're going to want to add some things on. You're going to want to um, further probe into some of the contexts that you've already mentioned in the previous discussion board. So here in week four, I want to see students going back to week, the week three discussion forum and continuing that discussion um, uh, right up until the end, right up until the end of week four. Just keep that discussion board alive. Keep your contributions coming. I like to see, of course, that you are still thinking about the text and still coming to terms with it and still participating. Um, also, I wanted to uh, make a note that the workshops are very, very important. I think so far many groups are doing well with the workshops, but there are a couple groups that seem to be sinking a little bit in terms of some students haven't been participating or some students have only been halfway participating. So I just want to reinforce that even if you yourself haven't made your main post, please do still participate in the workshops by logging in and taking part by reviewing your peers' work that they have submitted. Because the function of the workshop is really to exchange ideas and information together. And even if you are falling behind in your own main posts, there's really no reason that you can't get into the workshops and still contribute by offering your peers the support that they need. Um, you know, so please make sure that you are a presence in the workshops, even if it's just to say, you know, hey guys, I'm a little bit behind, um, or you know, hey guys, I'm putting together my resources. I have some questions. I'm I'm really struggling to find sources. Could anybody help me uh, with this? And I think you'll find that the community is very strong, and that students are actually willing very much to help help their peers along the way. So um, please use the workshops in that way. It's a really fantastic resource for us to be in this collaborative environment. So I hope that you are making the most of that and I wanna see that you are. Um, okay, so coming up in week four, you have your second response paper due. And although I haven't finished yet the grading of all of the response papers, I am a little bit more than halfway through. I do grade response papers in the order in which they're received. So if you have handed in your response paper early, you can expect to have already received feedback from me. And if you have turned in your response paper later, you can expect uh, my comments to also be later in the week. Um, but I am finishing up by commenting for the response paper, it is a very, very good rule of thumb to be sure that you've read all of my comments thoroughly before you submit your second response paper. I don't wanna see the same mistakes occurring again and again and again in your response papers. That makes me very frustrated um, when it is because students are not acknowledging the uh, comments that I've made. On the other hand, sometimes the same problems can arise in uh, consecutive essays just because you're still trying to work through understanding uh, the way that the academic genre functions. And that's totally understandable. That's expected. These response papers are a way for you to come to terms with what the academic genre means and how your style conforms to that and how it doesn't, what changes might need to be made. Um, so I hope that you find my comments on the response paper one very useful. I do take a lot of time with those. There's marginal comments, uh, end comments, rubric comments, and voice comments. So please make sure that you reap the benefit of all of those and that you come to office hours if you have 
any questions at all about your personal writing and how to really improve. Um, I'm willing to talk with you as long as it takes, as often as it takes, to help you to feel more confident in your writing in the academic genre. It's a very special genre and it requires um, some things that you might not be accustomed to. So please call on me and we can find your comfort zone together. Uh, anyway, that is what is on tap for us in week four. I ask, too, that you also keep in mind always in the back of your head your final paper. You want to make sure that you're always pushing forward with that. If you find yourself coming to any speed bumps along the way and you need to push in the right direction, you have any questions, you need a stronger context, you want a more aggressive argument, you want something that's really unique that you care about about the text, but you're not quite sure how to find that come to my office hours. You and I can talk one-on-one -on -one and um, I can help you to you know, answer some of those questions and find some solutions. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye for now.